Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everybody. It's another week, and uh, it's time to get a move on and get some work done. Now, you notice I changed my uniform. Today, I'm in a white shirt. <clears throat> um, black gets really hot, and it's still really hot, right? So, I've got a couple of things I'm gonna try to make myself a little bit more positive about this summer. Um, I'm gonna get it out of my system. It's hot, it sucks, it's moist. I'm sweaty all over the place. Still got the poison ivy, enough steroids in me to to produce Captain America, but that's for my wife to know. Anyway, and um, so I got it out of my system. All right, now I'm trying to be positive. It's a nice warm day today, all right? And it's nice moisture content, things are going good, not too bad, but I decided to wear white because today is a day where we get a lot of just kind of, well, frankly, it's mowing, okay? A couple of things on the agenda. I gotta mow and mow again <laughs> and got a lot to do a, a lot of mowing so i'm going to kind of go over that with you um tell you why and where i'm mowing and i've also got to fix a fence so i did something stupid and i put in a fence h brace a little bit oops wrong and so i gotta go fix it so those are the two things on the agenda today nobody else is with me today so it's just all me and partly the reason that is is we're getting a lot of stuff done at home other things going on, but when I mow, I mean, it's it's hours, man, and it's just, I can't do anything else but mow, and unless other people have a project set up or other things like that, I can't just bring a couple kids and let them sit around and wander, so, um, yeah, it's just mowing today and the fence, so keep up with us, and I'm going to kind of introduce kind of what's going on and some of the things that I'm checking now that it's summertime and the heat's gotten here, all right? Back on this east side of pasture, we have that creek that runs through. And if anybody was wondering, they do drink out of here, um, just like this little girl is right now. Um, it's good to see that they're finding some of the water. I just don't know how reliable it is. That's something to check out in the future. So I'm not banking on it being here all the time. Um, the other creek we have in pasture six, I think is a little bit more reliable, but uh, they do find some relief back here and they get out of the sun, so. Anyway, she's a cutie. I, I told you we had a, an oops on one of the fences and I did an H brace wrong. So today is the day that we're gonna have to uh, correct that. And um, let me show it to you so that way you can kind of see what's gonna go on and um, what we're gonna need to do to fix this. It's my bad. Okay, so here's the H brace. And what we generally have is you'll see that it's kind of leaning to the left. This is where we tied everything off on the left-hand side or the right-hand side and it started pulling it over. And you'll see down here, the evidence of such, we have some gapping down here on this side and also on this side. The other thing you'll notice is that the brace wire coming across, let me zoom out a little bit, um, is now slack. And so it's kind of wobbled around. You'll see from here. If, uh, you'll see the brace wire pop up and go around. So the problem that we have is that I made this incorrectly, okay? Um, the H brace is fine in the sense that it was constructed fine. It's the brace wire that's the real problem. Um, the brace wire goes the opposite direction it's supposed to go. When I put the brace wire on, I put it down at the bottom left-hand corner and strung it to the top. And the bottom part of the brace wire should be on the one that gets tied with all the barbed wire, the, the, the corner post, if you want to call it that. In this instance, I put all of the barbed wire on this side. So when the barbed wire pulls, it's now tipping my post this way, and the brace wire isn't doing anything. It's just slack, because this post goes this way, that post goes that way, and then this slackens up. I needed to put it like this so that's the job today put in a separate brace wire and get this hopefully leaning back up the brace wire that i did put on i will use actually because this property line is going to continue on down the way um, I, but for the purpose right then when we were building the fence it was opposite what i needed at the time so um, should be a pretty simple fix so now how am i going to fix this you might ask that's the ultimate question. So this is 
the saving grace I think I have, okay? I am standing right next to this H brace and right behind me is a tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna latch on to this guy down here and I'm gonna pull it back this way, pushing this brace all the way that direction until it's about vertical. So I'm gonna use a come along and some toe straps to anchor to that tree, straighten this back out, adjust any of these brace wires that we might need to, and then put on the other brace wire going the opposite direction. So that's my plan. That's what I'm gonna to do to try and fix it. It should work. And um, luckily I have this tree here and uh, we'll go from there and kind of see what I can get done. Anyway, I've got it hooked up, it's going. I had a loop in this, this one, so I just looped it around the tree back on itself. And I've hooked it right here to this green come along right there. And then I strapped this green one all the way down. You can kind of see it there. So then I just looped it around itself over there. And <clears throat> so now it's just a matter of tightening this and seeing if it actually tightens. Um, the come along might work a little bit better. It has a longer <clears throat> moment, um, but I'm gonna see if this works and if not, then I'll bust out the come along, but um, yeah, let's see. Okay, that seemed like a really lame effort. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the come along on it. Let's try and get some of the slack out. All right, here we go. Round two. You can see it came back the movement. It's not 100%, but it's good. I've got an awful lot of tension. And uh, so we can see that this brace wire, sorry, is pretty tight again. So now it's just a matter of putting on this other brace wire, round two. They are just so curious. I've had to go back up and get supplies twice in a row. And they come down and go back up every single time. Cute little buffalo. All right, let's get this done. So I just hammered that staple in down there. Normally I would have, I would have put it horizontal and put two on either side and wrapped underneath. This time I put it vertical so it doesn't fall off from out underneath it as I try and tighten it. So I'll just feed it through up there. On the back side, I still have that pin right there that I'm gonna feed it on top of. Time to get the wire and start feeding it. Now, I got sent with two right-handed gloves, so I only have one hand, but uh, we will make do. All right, wire it is. I need about 40 feet to wrap the 10 foot span twice.
That should hopefully work. This is going to be a lot trickier because I've got the barbed wire now to also to deal with. I don't know how tight I'm going to be able to get this, but I'm using a 5 8 instead of a 3 8 rebar. So this one bent the first time, this one I hopefully won't. Alright, let's see if I can go one more. So I got it generally tight and I just released the straps and it has moved a little bit back this way. However, this guy is pretty tight. This guy is loose once again, but again that guy right now doesn't make a difference until I start pulling and tensioning wire to eventually go down the property line that direction. So this one will hold us. I'm just going to put that little strap here. Let me show you the, the posts. So that's the post spacing. There's more on the back side still than I would like, but it is tighter than it was. <clears throat> and here's the front post. So it's about central in the hole. You can tell it's a little bit tilted, but it's better than it was. That should do for now. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up, tie that down, rebar down, and get out of here. They come down the alleyway a lot more than I thought they would have. But I guess it looks like they like being out here. <clears throat> the, the girl staring at us next to the pole is awful noisy. I wonder if she's been calling her baby. I'm going to find out who she is. So number 92, she had her baby back on the 1st of May, one of the first ones. So it's around here. It means it's probably just a juvenile that's wanting to wander from Mama. And Mama's calling it back. <clears throat> we have a couple babies hanging out by the water all the way down there. Time for some cubes, and I'm going to try and find a baby. After this, it's mowing. So. I'll show you some pictures of the pasture as well, just to kind of show you what the difference is. But um, yeah, gosh, cubes and mowing. They've been doing a good job here. Okay, I gave them four bags of cubes this time, so it's 200 pounds. <clears throat> it's pretty warm out. They're not going to eat as much, but um, 
it was actually pretty good. Um, I spent the first little bit wandering around them and just trying to collect numbers and data and so forth, especially looking for the ones that might be pregnant. And I can't find B1. Um, there's one of them I can't find. Now, a couple weeks ago, she was way swollen in the back end. I wouldn't be surprised if she's had the baby. She might be just far off and I can't see her. Um, but it kind of bothers me. So I went ahead and went to the other pasture, drove around that guy, just in case I didn't see anything, just in case we forgot her. Um, but she's not there that I can tell. Anyway, I'm gonna keep a watch for that. And I don't like not being able to find her. So I'll catch you back up when I've got everything hitched up and I'm out there, all right? Okay guys, I'm here on the uh, tractor as you can tell. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna be doing is mowing. <laughs> And uh, this is going to be mowing pastures one, two, and three, okay? What we have on here on the map is that there's a lake area, which you'll actually see is just to my right over through those little bushes right there. I don't know if you can see it. And then off to it is the sides where you're going to have um, pastures one, two, three, okay? The problem that we're having is we're having all this growth, and especially these trees. Um, that is, I think, a clump of old wood and trees have grown up through it but you can see off through here these are all trees um, sweet gum I think and some other types of stuff and what's happening is this is blocking out all the grass and so if you remember from a number of episodes ago the NRCS guy came for the goal was let's mow this and let's give it some time to grow so that way we know what kind of stuff is growing in the pasture the idea being that uh, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on seed if I don't need it. So we need to find out what kind of grass is there. So to do that, um, I've got to go ahead and mow all this stuff down, let the actual warm summer season grasses come up. I hope it's Bahia or Coastal or something. Um, I'm not a grass guy to know. I'm going to have him hopefully come out in a couple weeks, but this is approximately acreage wise, 40 acres. As you can tell, there are a lot of trees. So this is going to make it really slow. <laughs> Um, it's going to take a while to mow this, and I don't know how much time I'm going to have, but I want to mow all of this. Um, what I'm sitting on right now is actually a roadway um, that kind of wanders around, and that was the borderline of where I previously mowed. Behind me, you can see that I've been mowing the roadways. I've been getting to this point um, just to kind of keep it down, but right now I'm going to cut my line right along the road, and I don't know if I'm going to go to the right or if I'm going to go to the left. Um, beats me. Whatever way I guess I kind of feel is most accessible and not going to be causing problems. Now I'm going to try and get you some video of this. Uh, you know, that's a 12 foot bat wing behind me, rotary cutter. And there's a lot of trees and this is a lot of unfamiliar ground. Um, I don't have a strap to put it onto the, whatever it's called, the ROPS. Um, so I'm going to try and do this one handed here and there where it's kind of flat, just to get you some footage of it. You know, it's mowing, yes, but it's kind of cool. It's a big mower. And um, hopefully by the time the end of it comes, two, three hours from now, I'll be able to show you some sort of an after effect. Now the last time it went dark, and I won't promise that it won't be dark when I do this again, but um, I'm gonna try and get some mowing and give you some footage, okay?
both hands and I need to walk. The tractor started getting a little warm, so I cleaned out the grill. <clears throat> they have a screen in front of the radiator, the intercooler, all that kind of stuff, so I cleaned all that out, but just letting it sit for a moment, <clears throat> try and settle down a little bit. So anyway, I got most of it done, the sun is setting. I'm trying to get this last 30, 40 foot wide section done, and then I can go home and wrap it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, otherwise there is grass around here. <clears throat> It's just there's a lot of other things too. So I apologize not actually being able to get any actual photos or images really when I'm driving. You've got a steer, you got a 12 foot wide trailer behind you. When you go up and down bumps, you gotta raise and lower the mower sometimes. You gotta take it out of float, move the wings. I don't know why I'm so tired, jeez, man. So that's just a mowing, right? So it just takes a lot of concentration. You can't just sit there and not do anything. Things fall out of trees, they hit you, they, spiders fall on you so all sorts of stuff but i'm going to start her back up and see if i can get going and wrap this thing up before the sun gets too low okay today is done and i wanted to show you some of the things that we did for mowing so this is that two and a half acre small pasture i got most of it here a lot of the hill stuff i'm gonna have to come back with just a weed whacker would be easy enough just with a blade on it instead of a <clears throat> twine but this was a two and a half acre pasture got that one done it wraps around, and I apologize guys, sun's going down and I am so beat. But it wraps around, I'm going to try and show you this since I couldn't really show you a ton when I was mowing. Um, <clears throat> this first thicket right to our left, right there, that is just one nasty stumps and trees that they had cut down. But uh, when I'm mapping out how I'm going to do these pastures, you know, I already have an idea of how I'm doing it. 
but I might have to change a lot of that just because it may not match well with how the mowing would go. I don't want to make mowing any more difficult than it really is. So here we open up a little bit. And I just took a line, you know, I just picked a spot and went with it. <clears throat> I'm driving the same road that I was driving originally on the tractor. Ouch. And so we worked over to the left, mostly. And up ahead you can see, hey, that's a pig. Is that a pig? That black dot right there, is that a pig? That's a whole sounder. Yep, there's pigs. They went right down in there. I knew that we had some pigs, I just had never seen them actually. Interesting, a lot of little piglets. So yes, I'm doing this from the car because it's air conditioned, but it looks so much better. Um, so much better. I don't know how much acreage I actually mowed today. Um, it's a pretty good clip. I only made only got a quarter of the field done. I'll have to go back and look at some maps and check. All right, guys, I am completely beat. Um, wow, I'm tired. So <laughs> I'm heading home. It is way late. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to cut it off for here. Like and subscribe. Um, my birthday's next week. Like and subscribe, even if it's for just for that. Happy birthday to me, right? Anyway, we'll catch you guys next time and making more progress. Talk to you later. Bye. With you, I want to stay with you.